you know, sometimes I have to fast forward through scenes because they're that boring. Actually, a lot of the scenes are that boring. And I want my husband to, you know, I want my husband's attention. So I skip through, you know, the Austin parts and the Naomi parts and the shop parts and some of the new girl parts. <laughs> what was your reaction when you heard that she was uh, returning? Because I know you had some thoughts when she, Cameron and Chelsea decided to leave the show. So what was your thoughts on her returning to the show? Well, I, I love Cameron. I And I respect Cameron and Chelsea so much for that decision, for their mental health. I respect them so much. When they lost Cameron, they lost the show. The show, first of all, the narration in the beginning. Do you, do you watch the show? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's a narrator in the beginning. Cameron, I mean, was incredible, right? Naomi, what the heck? If that's the best that they can find, just... Okay, go through the name, all the voices on the show. Well, Catherine, forget about it. That's the worst voice ever. <laughs> Jeff, oh, Craig, Horp, just go through the names. They're terrible. The best one they could find was Naomi. The, if that's the best that they can find, it's, first of all, I want to like help her. I want to coach her in like how to lose a, use a little bit more, you know, to emphasize words, to use a little bit more excitement. Mm -hmm. I want to teach her how to do a good voiceover. She's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> It's terrible. So right there, it's lost me. It's okay. just gone downhill. It's yeah. Terrible. So um, what do I think of her? I don't even have anything to say. She's probably the she's probably the worst, one of the worst people I've ever met. So I would rather have lunch with Catherine than with Naomi. Let's just say that. Why why is she still like number one list on your list of like the worst people ever? She's she's me. And I know people are going to say, well, you're mean, Ashley. Yeah, I was mean on the show. I will I will say, yes, I was I was horrible, mm -hmm. but she is cruel. She's manipulative. She is she's one of the coldest people I've ever met. Cold, cold. And that's all I'm going to say about her. Yeah, I would. She's mean. She's cool. And she's just cold. What was your thoughts on her hooking up with Craig again? <laughs> I was like, Craig, what are you thinking? You know, I, I honestly, I didn't, I, I, when I saw her, I just, it's, it's so boring to me. I can't even watch. I can't even watch. To me, it just seemed, it was just, it's um, very manufactured. You know, it just, it was boring. I was just like, can't get a little bit more, you know, creative with it. I had, I had nothing to say about it. It was fast forward. Do you ever regret going to that lunch with her? Cause I know that she said that she regretted going to the lunch with you. Well, first of all, there was something going on where she couldn't go on a trip. Mm -hmm. um, so I knew that she had to say, say, stay back. And yeah. obviously I wasn't on this trip. So if she wanted film time, she knew she had to do this with me. If I wanted film time, I knew I had to do this with her. Right. So we had no other options mm -hmm. um, to do that. So, and that was very much set up. So I love the part where I don't know if it, they'll probably cut this, but like when I'm calling her to ask her to lunch, I'm already in the parking lot outside the place with the producer sitting right next to me. So. <laughs> Let's just let's just be real. You know, it was we both didn't want to do it. But I also thought maybe maybe I can talk. Maybe I can tug at a heartstring. Maybe maybe she can show some real human, some more warmth. And I thought this could change my mind. And nah, it was exactly what I expected. I hope for the best. But I thought maybe this could be good, but no expectations. When's the last time you uh, spoke to her? Was it the last time you filmed? Then, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think about her interactions with Catherine this season? Do you feel like she's still kind of tiptoeing around her? Well, she never liked Catherine, right? So mm -hmm. you know that's the thing. When when they they all jumped on the camp Catherine bandwagon because that's what was popular to do at the time. So they weren't they weren't you know stupid. They knew if they jumped on my bandwagon or they agreed with me that they would get so much hate and so much backlash. So she's never liked Catherine. So that's, that's, and Catherine always needs someone to go at, you know, if it's not me, it's Landon, it's Thomas, this time it's Naomi. Right. Mm -hmm. So that she needs, you know, Catherine needs someone. Yeah. Some Catherine needs someone, an enemy, but with Naomi, um, no, she never was a fan of Catherine. 